welcome back everybody I was just washing off the harvester because I think we might strike while in the iron's hot so they say and sell that because obviously the value is decreasing as we speak obviously we don't need a harvester just yet but it is 7.05 p.m. as you can see the sun is going down I thought we could probably just do a quick bit of work on this field preparing it getting it planted with wheat which is what we said we were going to do because this field as well this is going to need liming so not too worried about that we can do that next episode and in the morning but what I think we're going to do is change up as well as selling the harvester we're going to change up this fertilizer spreader which has obviously been absolutely fantastic for us we're not going to get a lot for it but if we upgrade we don't need this one anymore so we're going to sell it I think it only cost us 700 euros if I remember rightly so cheap as chips it's done its job been absolutely fantastic for us as with most of our equipment that we've had or got still got so we will head up here now we're gonna have to unload like so and then drop this off in the zone that superb turn that off so this one we need to sell it we'll repair it so we're only going to get 592 for it but that is absolutely fine and that's in fact not too much of a hit we've used it quite a few times haven't we right so we need to go to the shop luckily graham's still about fertilizing technology so this is the one we're using for our lime and again I think we will change that up as well um, when we come to lime that top field but I'm looking at this guy for a fertilizer spreader and it holds 950 liters so a lot more than what we've just sold it's going to cost us 3200 though, so a little bit more expensive than the last one. Don't like that colour at all. That is absolutely hideous. So we've got a grey, or we've got a red. I don't think the red looks too bad. What about design colour? Grey, that doesn't look too bad. All red. No, I don't want it all red. Red and black, I don't think that looks good as grey. Mm, that's not really white, is it? That looks like cream. Oh, yeah. Oh. I don't know why. I know that looks a bit hideous, but that... I think that makes it look a bit older. I quite like that in a weird way. It's... But I think, um, yeah, we're going to go for that. It's not going to cost us any more. So, so at the minute we're 600. That's 750 with the boards. That takes it up to 950, which is the max. So we'll do that. And what's cool as well, we've got old PTO and new PTO. So obviously, vintage, we want the old PTO. None of that is going to cost us any extra. So we're going to buy that for 3,200 happy days jump back in the tractor and we will hook up oh my goodness that is that is big isn't it look at the size of it oh there we go that is massive right I'm thinking actually 
we need to get um oh that's jumping that's not what i want to do <laughs> jumping for joy we're gonna get some fertilizer oh do we buy a pallet like that that's cheaper than a big bag isn't it in the long term so so that one yeah three eight I don't really want to be messing around with single bags Spending money this episode, I don't like it. No wrap. What's that? Oh, definitely don't want that. Yeah, let's just do it. Let's do it. I would, I, I mean, I know we're not a million miles away, but I would quite like to move some of these things down to our farm. Because we've got... I think that's seed there, isn't it? And herbicide. But it's going to get used. It's not like it's going to sit there forever. So we'll head on down to that field. And we will fertilise that before we cultivate it. I'll probably do most of the cultivating off camera bring you back in and then we'll seed it with wheat obviously and then that's ready to go that field so what sort of it said 24 meters on the description so if that's right that is going to be awesome oh we need to unfold it I don't actually think that does anything but so let's just do a quick test squirt oh my goodness that is that is impressive might have to zoom out for this one you know look at that oh my goodness Well, that's going to save us a bit of time, isn't it? Let me know if you're okay with this. I don't want people going, well, that's ridiculous. It spreads out too far. It's supposed to be small vintage equipment. I mean, it is vintage vintage looking it's definitely not small because it's almost as big as a tractor but but that I think that's sort of double the spread width for us I think that's fine though look at that we didn't have the fence up the top there we would have done that in three passes happy days and we've still got 84% left so I'm happy with that purchase I hope you guys are like I say We'll drop this off at its new home I don't even know if that's going to fit in the same spot as where the old one lived actually because that <laughs> is massive is it going to split oh right so I can't lower it I was going to lower it and then drop it off so it doesn't drop from a great height Okay, 
Okay, that too, that fits in there, that's fine. So we need our cultivator. Like I say, I will, I mean, you've seen this happening, so I don't want to bore you. Probably won't even do a time lapse. I'll, um, well, get this cultivated. And then we'll be ready for seeding. There we go. Hook that up. What I'll do is I'll probably bring you back in. Um, up the shop. With the harvester. See what we get for that. I'll have a quick word with Graham. See if he can do some sort of deal with us. Hopefully he will do. But like I say. I'll see you in a bit guys. <laughs> Slight change of plan. It's got very dark very quickly. So I'm not even going to attempt to seed that. But what I think we might do is if we grab our lime spreader Let's turn that off. We're going to swap tractors as well, I think. Let's grab this bad boy. We'll grab our lime spreader. We'll quickly upgrade that. Just so that we've got plenty in the tank. And... Um, there we go. So we've got quite a decent amount in there already. But we'll head up to the shop. Let's get some lights on. And we'll trade this one in. Buy the newer one that I was looking at. Or I know you guys haven't seen it yet. I don't think you've seen it. But I'm always on the look for Mod Hub on mod hub sorry for different things but i did actually see this on someone else's gameplay and thought that would be okay that would be ideal again i think it looks old style it's um vicon brand i did actually do a little bit of googling of vicon and what I found is they actually originally started, I think it said 1910. So, if that's not an old brand, I don't know what is. So, let's get rid of that. Again, we're probably not going to get a lot for it. Actually, that's more than I was expecting. That's pretty good. 2,642 euros. Sell that knock on Graham's door again and then this one the vibe reflow 1500 so it will hold 1500 liters and we're going to be using that as lime um, it's still 18 meters the same as that although actually I think the 18 meters on this one possibly could be just for fertilizer because I think a lot of them that spread width the maximum one is for the fertilizer and some of them get knocked down a little bit for the lime i mean this that could be the case for this one actually as well so i'm just talking nonsense aren't i but we're gonna buy it no options i don't think it looks too bad it's still small looking so we're gonna go ahead with that as nine and a half thousand euros though so we wouldn't even dream or dreamt of spending that sort of money in the early days. And that's why I say I've had my eye on these ones in the mod hub, but they just haven't come out yet because of their price. So 
So let's top that up. How much have we got in there? So we need a fair bit still, don't we? Could buy a big bag of lime. Um, that's 2,000 for 450. So what are these ones then? Do we do have that? We do. That is a very good price. So we <laughs> we are getting a right little collection here. I mean, even if we sort of manage to push them to one side, it wouldn't be such a bad thing. But the line will get through quite quick. There you go. And I don't think this thing looks too bad. Again, thoughts on it, please, guys. I want you to all be happy with the equipment that we're getting. I can't believe how dark it got. I mean, it's only 30 minutes, roughly, from when we first started the episode. And that has just gone so dark. I'm struggling to see at the last few strips of the cultivating. So I'm hoping we're going to see all right here. We should be able to have... There we go. We'll do something like that. And off we go. That is a oh look at that. Well, that must be 18 meters. So I don't think our old one was as good as that. Spread wise. So that's not too shabby at all, is it? But I do want your thoughts on it because I don't want to be seeing that I'm getting too bigger equipment and. But surely even some of the older spreaders would have had good spread whips on them, wouldn't they? Surely. Not all of them, obviously, because when they're first made, it's a... Oh my goodness. Well, I thought that was... <laughs> I thought that was going to do that, field. 1,500 litres. Is it me or did that go down really, really quick? Okay, so... Right. I'll tell you what, that shop looks cool lit up at night. I can't even remember, have we been? Yeah, we have been sort of this late before because I remember visiting the shop a bit late. So if we stay this side, that should be lime. So we're going to definitely get through this lime quick. We've not even got a full load there, have we? Oh man, this is madness. Right, I'm not going to go into the shop menu we're just gonna do this should have bought a double stacker shouldn't i let's do that this time only 750 should have done that the first go cheap as chips we're on a budget so that is absolutely bargain right how far is this load going to get us? Let's do a bit of in cab. Well, not in cab. We haven't got a cab, but you know what I mean. This place looks quite smart in the lights as well. That could be a possibility further down the line. That's sheep and horses in there. And we've got the greenhouses. Stop there. 
Let's go over the far side because then if we do run out we're not too far. Or we're that little bit closer to the shot. At least we can kind of see the line. Obviously we'll double check at the end what we've done it. Okay. Oh, come on, surely we've got enough this go. Oh, I've missed a tiny bit there where I turn the wheels. This is going to be tight as well, isn't it? Just this bit here. And then this strip here. Might do the old burst trick again. tiny little speck up in the top right hand corner we will get it right up here somewhere just here we've run out that is superb right so that's another job done let's go and grab our harvester and header we'll sell that and then we will end the episode there so a little bit of night work which doesn't happen very often mainly because you can't see what you're doing right lights off engine off I sort all that out um, after the episodes finished Get our little beacon on. And then we're literally just going to be selling this. We're not going to buy anything yet because we don't really need one yet. We have no crops growing. I just wanted to sell it quick because obviously, as we all know, the price will go down. Especially if we skip forward until a new day, we'll go down even more. Kind of sad to see this go. Actually, it's been a lovely, lovely little harvester. Again, been ideal for us on this series. So, if we can park it in there with all the pallets everywhere. should be able to sell both obviously not at the same time but turn those off we'll lower that down goodbye my friend I'm gonna go and see Graham first and see if he can give us some sort of deal right I've just spoken to Graham fantastic news he's going to give us a very good price on that and he's already got a buyer for it that is going to cobbler farms in poland so just across the border really from us so not got to go too far so at least it's going to a good home 
it's going to get a little bit of repair there 28,507 for the unit and then 400, uh, 400, 4,611 for the header fantastic we've now got 83,522 so we are going to leave it there for this episode whilst we are swimming in euros i hope you have all enjoyed the episode if you have please give us a like and if you haven't subscribed yet then please do and don't forget to hit that notification bell so you don't miss any future videos of mine i've been farm sim snowy stay frosty